Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to BJ and Co's Guide to 40 in Destiny. How you doing, Ben? I'm doing good. Dancing myself off. How about you? Oh yeah, can't complain, man. We're doing real good. Doing real good. So, we've been uh searching the YouTubes recently and we've seen a lot of kind of silly videos on how to get to level 40 being like fill your bar and do that 40 times. That's not going to help any of you. So, Ben and myself, we're here, and we're going to actually help you get to level 40 in Destiny. To become the best person you can and kill lots of stuff. Right? Yeah, most definitely. Nice. All right, so first things first, uh, be careful where you step, because this isn't going to go well for <laughs> either of us to get off of here. This was a very Oh, he made decision. it. <laughs> I made it. Oh, oh we made it. All right. So, uh, first things first. Uh, this gentleman over here that we're going to at the bounty board is going to be a big deal for leveling up when you're trying to get to 40. Starting at level 1 or level 25 if you're just starting there or level whatever. This guy's the guy for you. He has, um, he has you know, your PvE bounties that you do while playing through missions and stuff like that as well as your crucible missions so you know if you're into crucible you can still level up it's you know you're not at a disadvantage they've made the game very durable and playable for two different play styles um, personally I like PvE just because I'm terrible at shooting people so you know hey, it is what it is. you're just terrible I mean that's a given right so <laughs> these bounties what you do is you pick them up every day sort of thing you hammer them out and they just blast you with experience points uh, so your your PVE and your Crucible ones. Um, I guess another way you can maximize your XP input is uh, by combining your bounties with missions. And speaking of missions, let's jump over to Ben for those. Sounds good. So yeah, like Savvy said, you get lots of great experience from the bounties, but you also get experience for doing missions for all sorts of people within the tower. Um, you can get missions and quests from the gunsmith, from mainly down in this area here. You'll see we've got Eris Morn here, who will give you some missions. Uh, you can get some from Lord Shax here for the Crucible. And then kind of the big area to get missions is in this main area with all the Vanguard people. We've got Aquara Ray, the uh, side and Commander Zavala. Now with the quests, th these uh, quests and missions, Usually the first time you complete them, you get bonus experience for them, which is about on par with the same amount you'd get for doing one bounty. And it's great because, like Jesse said, you tie things together. So if you've got one that's kill 50 Vex for your bounty, you jump in and do some of the quests for the Vex storyline, um, which is the Fruit of the Garden, I believe, is that quest line. So it's a great way to kind of maximize your experience gain every day. Um, if you're at a chance spot um, starting from level 1, you will just come across the missions as you level up the quests from the different people that will take you through the main storyline of Destiny. Now, if you've played year but, one... But Ben, oh. what happens if you're not level one and some of the missions you've had are already gone by? Yeah. So if you've, if you've been in here before, played year one, um, before the quests were all introduced, there's this wonderful place up on the side here, if you come around called the abandoned quests looks like a little ipad so if you access this um i of course don't have any but all of the old storyline missions will be available in here and you can get your bonus xp again for completing them so you know you pick up the ones to go do the cosmodrome missions you're already at level 36 to 40 you just cruise through them but you still get that bonus experience that will get you to level 40 which is pretty awesome now once you're at level 40 it doesn't hurt to still do the missions right um the max level cap is level 40 so your experience after that won't increase your levels however it will give you three modes of light every time you fill up the bar at the bottom of the screen you can see i've got a blue bar that's about two-thirds of the way so far going so the modes of light are great because you can use them you can turn them in um to you can consume them to use to gain experience for your weapons and armor to help level them up which uh, will give you new stats and abilities, um, as well as uh, there's something else you can do with Molten Light that I'm blanking on. Zavi, what can you do? You can use them 
to level up your uh, your, your clans. I'm gonna call them. It's not clans. It's factions. Factions. Um, that's a big one uh, because this ties in nicely with uh, Master Rahul, uh, the gentleman you'll learn to love to hate, but sometimes he's your best friend. Um, when you're leveling up factions, every level you get a little package. It's nice. It's great, and it gives you some motes of light and strange coins. You'll uh, you'll learn that you get quite a lot of these, but it, they're good. They help you out. Um, but when you level up, you get engrams sometimes. And when it comes to engrams, this you know this helps you get uh, you get better guns and stuff like that. But once you get to level 40, engrams are going to be your your go-to to get to that next peak conditioning, fighting, awesome, raiding, badass mother trucker that you want to be in Destiny. So what engrams do is once you're level 40, it, XP doesn't do anything anymore. You're all relying on light level. So all your items have a level and you know when you're 35 you're looking at maybe like maybe you got one that's 200 you're kind of fancy and excited like that but anything you can get from a rare legendary or exotic when you decrypt with Mas master rahul can range from pretty much you know if you're 20 you're looking at maybe 200 all the way up to 300 when you're 40. nothing you can decrypt can be over 400 unless you get raid gear because that comes sometimes at 310 i believe is the max correct ben at, at the moment without the hard raid out you are correct 310 is the maximum light level that you can achieve um and like you said nothing that you'll decrypt will be over 300 not 400. all right so your best little bet to get as close to 300 as you can it's a little grindy but this is destiny so get used to it um you farm the hell out of engrams. That's pretty yeah. much your go-to to get your... Well, engrams up. and your legendary marks. Legendary marks are a good first booster for you. So it's, uh, do you have anything else you want to add in the tower here? Or should we jump to orbit and show these guys how to get those engrams? I mean, space travel is pretty sweet, so we might as well hit there. Let's do it! Okay. So now that we're in orbit, guys, we'll show you how to get these legendary marks and engrams that we we're talking about. They're so, so important once you've passed level 40 to get your level up. So first off, we'll talk about the legendary marks. Um, a lot of the quest lines that you'll do will have some legendary mark rewards, which is a great way to start leveling up because you'll be doing the quests anyways. Um, but there is also on the bottom left of your destination screen, there's some wonderful things that uh, you can earn legendary marks from. So the first on the left is a weekly Crucible playlist. And from this, your first three wins of the week will net you 10 marks each. Uh, the next one over is a daily PVP activity. Your first playthrough of this, whether it's a win or a loss, will net you 15 marks. And this, these are account wide. So your first win on any of your three characters will get you 15 marks. After that, you won't get any marks from whatever character plays it. Then we have our daily PvP, PvE activity, which is um, kind of a harder level mission uh, taken out of the storyline. And when you finish this, it will net you 15 marks as well. And again, this is once per account. Next, we have the Vanguard Heroic Strikes, which will net you um, 10 legendary marks for, I believe, the first three you complete during the week, as well as it's a great place to get um, engrams, which I'll talk about a little bit later um, in terms of good engram farming locations. And then finally, there's your weekly Nightfall Strike. This one's a little bit interesting. I don't believe you get any legendary marks for completing it, but you tend to get some good chance at drops, like exotic weapons and gears, uh, legendary items that are high level. So if you can tackle it, it's a great one to do, but notice that you the recommended light level is 280. So you want to have a decent fire team behind you to do this one. It's not easy at all. So that's so ben, the best. Why don't you tell the folks what you can do with these beautiful legendary engrams? Legendary engrams or legendary marks? Sorry, marks. 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 Okay. That you're getting so, from all these strikes, yeah. With the marks, there's a couple major uses for it. The first one off the bat for you guys when you're below level 280 is just going and buying stuff. Um, if you go talk to the Crucible Quartermaster, the Vanguard Quartermaster, um, Zavala, Zend, um, Akora, any of those, whatever your class matches with, you can buy items at 200, legendary items at 280. Um, 
attack or defense, which helps boost your light level greatly. These range in cost anywhere from 75 marks for um, arms, legs, that sort of thing, all the way up to 150 for uh, some of the weapons that are out there. So that's the best place to start putting your marks in. You'll get a big jump for your level right off the bat. Um, you can also use marks to help ascend materials later on, um, which basically means take a, use a higher level item into it to make it a little bit stronger, but you don't have to worry about that one yet. And uh, the other major thing that you can do with that is Master Rahul sells legendary engrams. So you can actually turn them in for engrams, which are slightly cheaper than just buying items, and you have a chance of rolling something with um, some sort of legendary or exotic item, but you don't really, you're not guaranteed what light level it'll be. So it might be worse than what you could straight up buy from the Vanguard guys. Did I cover it all, Zabby? Well, you did forget to mention. It could also yes. be better. Oh, yeah. So take your chance, roll the dice, cross your fingers, and hope for the best. Because he's going to piss you <laughs> off a lot of the time. A lot or all the time? Yeah, pretty uh, much. Pretty much all the time. Uh, so where can we find all these amazing engrams? That'll well, be besides the ones that you can buy, you can find engrams basically by doing anything in the game. Right, you start killing enemies, eventually they'll drop engrams. Now there are some kind of better areas to get engrams. Probably the one of the best ones right now is in our strike playlist. So if we go up into the Vanguard up here, you've got both the Taken King Vanguard strikes at level 36 and the Vanguard Heroic strikes at level 41. Great places to jump in with some friends, uh, fire teams up to three in here and just grind through the strikes. The, uh, you tend to get two or three engrams dropped from the end, plus you get the exotics, um, or not exotics, uh, any kills you get have a chance of dropping engrams. Um, if you happen to have some three of coins from Master Xur, which we might talk about in another video, you've got a chance of exotics dropping. Um, plus, if you keep playing, if you stay in the matchmaking for the strike playlists, the longer you stay in, the better rewards you get. Um, you'll notice on your inventory screen, kind of right underneath your level, you will see, um, I believe it's a Vanguard boost or something that you get when you start your second, third, fourth, which means you can get better and better gear, which is pretty awesome. Um, there's one other place that we're finding is working really great for um, grabbing some engrams, and that's once you unlock the Dreadnought, and grab some reciprocal runes and stuff. Patrol the Dreadnought and take on the Court of Oryx down here. There's, uh, we've been having a great chance at dropping stuff there. But how about you? Anything, anywhere you like to find stuff savvy? Besides those two places? I mean, I find the Court of Oryx seems to be the best for us. Um, it's okay because you have to alternate who puts in ruins, which works out all right. So if you're, you know, standing watching somebody put in a ruin. You know, you might get two or three one. engram, or sorry, one or two engrams. If if you're the one putting the ruin in, it's usually three. There's sometimes four, and they range all the way from rare to legendary. There may even be the odd exotic sort of thing, but you know, once again, you're praying to the rolling, the rolling gods. So, other than that, I think those are sort of the best areas to be getting near. Your engrams for Master Rahul. I completely agree, sir. But yeah. Do you got anything else you want to add to this? But oh, I do have a secret. secret. I like secrets. I have a secret. Okay, okay, Shh. everybody. It, yeah, turn 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 your volume up. Do it. Just okay. Don't don't let anybody else know. Okay. Put your it's headphones just in. Between you and me. Okay, you're close now. So you, you can hear me. Um. All right. So when you get to Master Rahul, uh, this son of a gun, he's tricky. So watch out. Big thing to do is if you want to get higher light level, Ben and I found this. It works pretty good from what we've seen. We've done a few tests, and it seems, you know, pretty accurate. We could just be completely BSing, but this works for us, and it should work for you too. Uh, if you equip your highest light items, right, so you go through and you're like, okay, this one's the highest, this one's the highest, you put them all on, okay? When you decrypt an engram it has a chance of being higher or lower we find if you have the higher number or your highest equipped light 
the chance of it being higher is better because the game recognizes hey he's at this level there's no point giving him a 100 light level right so it's like okay now we'll give him something higher because he's farther up in the game so every time you decrypt something try and do your highest light level another trick we found is once you do that do one engram at a time it's a little more time consuming right because let's say your light level is 292 okay and you decrypt a helmet okay you go take a look at it and you're like oh wow this helmet instead of the 280 light level I have equipped is a 290 so you equip that and it bumps your light level up to 293 now he's gonna take a look at that and he's like okay well there's a chance that we could put it even higher now so you do it one at a time and just investigate what you've decrypt so that way you can maximize I guess optimize your potential light level gain uh, we do find that it ranges roughly about 20 below or 20 under sort of thing unless you really low balls you might get the odd one that's way down there but decrypting engrams you're never going to get over 300 so if you find a 300 you hang on to that yeah. son of a gun but other than that i think that kind of covers the basics of uh leveling up i, level I would say it most definitely does no yeah, i've got uh, we covered it all on my end which is awesome perfect well i think on that note we need to say you can see our gamer tags in the top right corner we play on xbox one feel free to give us an ad we're always looking for people to play with it's we're a lot of fun ben's kind of a jerk sometimes hey but, only know, only if you play like shit like jesse i'm just kidding <laughs> it's really nice all right so on that note um thank you for watching our video we hope that you've helped we've helped you out in some way um don't forget to comment like subscribe share tweet <laughs> plant insta snap whatever you want to do with your social meteors um everything we have is down listed below and you know what add us up come play with us and we hope you enjoyed thanks ben bye hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to bj and co's guide to 40 in destiny how you doing ben i'm doing good dancing myself off how about you oh yeah can't complain man we're doing real good doing real good so we've been uh searching the youtubes recently and we've seen a lot of kind of silly videos on how to get you step because this isn't gonna go well for <laughs> either of us to get off of here this was a very oh, he made decision. it <laughs> i made it oh oh ben, we made it all right so uh first things first uh, this gentleman over here that we're going to at the bounty board is going to be a big deal for leveling up when you're trying to get to 40, starting at level 1 or level 25 if you're just starting there or level whatever. This guy's the guy for you. He has, um, he has you know, your PvE bounties that you do while playing through missions and stuff like that as well as your crucible missions so you know if you're into crucible you can still level up it's you know you're not at a disadvantage they've made the game very durable and playable for two different play styles um, personally i like pve just because i'm terrible at shooting people so you know hey, it is what it you're is. just terrible i mean that's a given right so <laughs> these bounties what you do is you pick them up every day sort of thing you hammer them out and they just blast you with experience points uh to level 40 being like fill your bar and do that 40 times that's not going to help any of you so ben and myself we're here and we're going to actually help you get to level 40 in destiny to become the best person you can and kill lots of stuff right yeah most definitely nice all right so first things first uh be careful 